Hello and welcome to the tutorial to develop an online shop with Dreamweaver. My name is Jorge Vila, you can find me in ayzweb.com and my email is the one you can see right under there. The idea of these tutorials is that we create an online shop from scratch by using the programs we are going to see. Basically, we are going to use our Dreamweaver CS5, which is the last available version. Now we will use the WOM server, which provides us with a PHP server, Apache, and a database server such as MySQL, and of course a navigator that will enable us to check the whole evolution of the process. This will enable us to check the evolution of our online shop in our own computer without uploading anything. This way we can test our shop, resolve errors, <coughs> etc. Not having to face by now any free or payment server. It's my advice to use either PHP MyAdmin or Navicat in order to administer our database. It will be handy. I especially like Navicat because many many times it helps you to consult things that you couldn't do without help or it would be very difficult. I have also included Photoshop because although this is not a design course but a tutorial on programming to set up an online shop it is interesting to have some notions about Photoshop to manage the image size to create a gradient although the main idea of this course is not making a design but to elaborate the whole the whole programming system okay what are we going to see basically will it tutorial I'm not how will it go but I will try to make it as short as possible and uh, I like to divide it into this part so that we can access the section we need the first section would be devoted to administration uh, where we would all back end break our orders take our users etc uh, I'm quite sure most of you have already seen that uh, the shop shot the front end is what the visitor or customer sees when he visits our shop Obviously, we will f design the database with all the data of our shop. We will go to the step to create an online sh CS5, uh, taking as a basis a blank file. We won't use bits and pieces of other causes, of coders. In case we use something because it's hard to explain or it's not the purpose of the tutorial, I will upload those files for you to download them. We will also decide what the purchase process will be, since the user registers, carries out the purchase, issues payment, etc. And finally, what we will see is the placing to create the friendly URLs, the fact that in the upper frame we can add the product's name, in which category it's classified, etc. Well, many of you already know that there are many types of online shop. We've got PrestaShop, OzCommerce, there are even systems for WordPress which are online Drupal systems. But many times when we want to do something in a more customized way, trying to set up one of those shops becomes very hard uh, because we don't really know 100% how it works and making a slight change may become a great headache. What I do in AYZ Web is offering two or three different models of managing a shop and when a client requests me information about one of those models I already know how they work and I can modify any part of the code because I created it myself which is the best way of keeping all the control over it the idea is also facing a blank project and I'm sure that if <coughs> you follow these tutorials step by step you will learn a lot of things and well I also expect for your advice because I'm sure what I what I do can be done in an easier way but that is the idea, to show all the advantages that CS5 has and what we can do with it. And uh, let's stop beating about the bush and go to the database that you can see in the tutorial in the next chapter. Okay, best regard.